G'day! Welcome back to Immersive Engineering. This is episode 6. Guys, we had an absolute blast last episode. We set up a defense and we started playing with the crusher and uh, I showed off the new decoration pieces and Flame and Gala, I have been, ha I've been having fun. This is absolutely fun. Fun, 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 fun. I'm loving this mod so far. Now, um, crikey. So let's go inside. Turn on our defenses. Yes, that's right. We have an electrified door here, which we built last episode. If we come on over um, in here, and uh, we built this sucker here too. This is the crusher. This will allow us to crush cobble to gravel. Uh, this will allow us to double our ores, like put one iron in, you get two back sort of thing, uh, which is fantastic. Tested it last episode. Almost killed myself by jumping inside of it. I didn't think it would damage the player but it does so really got to keep an eye on that that can be yeah quite dangerous but um so that just sort of leads us into our next bit here making this thing more le less dangerous because at the moment you have to run up here and you just toss things in and it crushes up and you, oh anyway we sort of don't want to do that so guys looking a little into it we've got these things called conveyor belts now don't get me wrong, I've never actually uh, played around with these myself. And that's the whole point of this this series here. We're sort of jumping in, we're trying everything out and, and playing with it. And that's the point. But this these guys here are like hoppers. So these conveyor belts, you've got you've got ones that just go straight, then you've got dropper ones, you've got vertical ones that take them directly straight up, you've got slipping conveyor belts, you've got covered, you have you've got literally extracting conveyor belts to extract stuff out of chests or or furnaces so you can turn it into automatic stuff. It's like an advanced topper line that looks pretty cool. The problem is, there's a problem. Uh, the recipe's not not what i would call cheap very vanilla <laughs> when that when it comes to resources leather this is the problem we get, okay it's a bit generous when three leather gives us eight conveyor belts it's eight blocks worth it's like eight hoppers okay okay it's a little bit generous but we don't have really a cow farm up and going at this point of stage do we no flame and galah but me, me i remembered something and I thought, okay, well, before I go kill all these cows and maybe bring a couple home for breeding, I really want to show you guys what I found uh, in this world because I know for a fact, I know what's going to happen. You know, I'm going to get like a stack of leather and they're going to like, oh my God, you spawned that in. No way you could get leather with so quickly. <laughs> Turn that off for a second. Uh, we'll go over the road, sleep, and I'll take you guys over there because I think I found like the place where the cows literally spawn. Not even kidding. So, oh, really? Flame and galah. What am I getting rid of you? You dead, deader than a dead dingo's donger. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've, I've, I've found like this massive patch of cows that spawn naturally, which is flaming cool. I haven't been out there in a bit, and I'm really hoping that they're still there. Uh, when I was grab grabbing sugar cane and clay and all that good stuff, I found it out here. But the reason why I'm taking you guys here, because I normally skip like 90% of vanilla here, but uh, the reason why I'm taking it, because I know I'll get called cheating and you, know, you must have spawned that stuff in. I want to sort of go over there and show you. See, there's a cow right here, actually, which we're whacking. I want to sort of take that leather. Thank you. We're going to kind of need a bunch of it. Now, if we come over here, uh, I got in a boat and I traveled this way. I just got to remember where I'm going. Oi, come back here. Gotcha. Ha! That so far is three. That's eight conveyor belts already. All right, take care of you. I know what you're saying, Data. You should be taking these bloody buggers home. You're right. I should be. But we don't have time for that just yet. I'm going to... I'll probably do a vanilla ring later on. Yes. I'll do, definitely do some vanilla ring later on. But come on up here. This is where I spotted them. A lot of them. Oh, it's going to make a fool out of me now. Ta-da! Cows out the Yazoo! That's right. Oh, look at this! Another patch there! Patch there! Patch over there! There's probably triple patch there. Cows! Cows, cows, cows! So we should definitely... Oh, look at our base in the distance! Doesn't that look sexy? Hang on. I'm going to get a view. Have to get a view. Just sort of... Look at that! Hang on. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that, but our little area down there is really looking cool. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, do now, guys, is I'm going to 
slaughter a lot of them. I think I'll keep about 10% of them left over for when we do build an actual cow farm. <laughs> yes, an actual cow farm. Um, well, let me kill some of these guys, and we should have enough enough for like at least a stack of conveyor belts. At least. Look at this. Nine already. We're going to have cooked bloomin' beef out the Yazoo at this rate. Flaming love. All right, I'll be right back. All righty then, guys. I have the steak on cooking. Look at that. Flame and glab, we are going up in the world. That's fantastic. So I've got almost a stack of steak and 27 leather to boot. So let's go ahead and get those converted. Ah, I'm going to need... Ooh, you know, I think that's enough. We're going to need a bit of bobs. There we go. Throw that on. Look at that. I have now a stack and a bit. That's right. A stack and a bit of conveyor belts. And I've just unlocked the achievement. And also, can what I really want to do is I want to get steel scaffolding. How do we... Uh, I wouldn't mind enclosing it. I was going to leave it open like this. But what I'm going to do is grab some steel scaffolding. Boom. Okay, quite cheap and easy, which is just steel and steel rods, which, as you guys know, we have access to steel at this time. We're going to have to get that fired back up soon because, actually, I'm running quite low. Not, well, not low, but, you know, running running the supplies down. Got to keep that stuff up, definitely. All right, well, we'll make a few stacks of these bad boys. Boom. And we'll make some steel scaffolding so let's go ahead pop that together boom 60 of them not bad not bad indeed so to enclose it um how many normal do we want all right let's let's say i want 16 enclosed ones there we go upgraded there we go bob's your uncle now we're going to need probably some vertical ones aren't we uh back to belts okay so we need some... Oh, oh, that's a little different. We need three of them, uh, which I can make. So, boom, boom, boom. Nine. We'll make nine. That's probably way too much. But now we have nine vertical. Can we change that into a vertical? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Swap those over. And there we go. So we've got nine vertical as well. So I like the enclosed feeling, and that's why I'm making it enclosed. And also, I'm not sure if items bounce off the tracks. So <laughs> I'm sort of trying to make it all enclosed at the same time, if you know what I mean. All right, so we've got ups and downs. Now, let, can we go ahead and get a, a, a belt extractor? A conveyor belt extractor would be cool. Yeah, what, what do we have to do to, to get this? Ooh. Okay. This is a little different here. Uh, what is this? Okay, I don't have access to this stuff just yet to make this tough fabric. I think we're going to need to plant what's McCall. I'm going to have to do that. So I guess the in, the, extra, the extractor is currently out, unfortunately, because we need six of them, and I'm pretty sure we have some, but they're not. The yeah, we only got three of them at this point this point in time. Which, yeah, I thought so. We did have some, but just not enough. Okay, so that leaves us with quite a bit of playing around power here. Whoopsie. Um, what I'm going to do before we go out there is just quickly grab a couple of treated... Oh, it sounded like one of my villages were turned. All right, so what I'm going to do is make some treated planks so we can go ahead and make a couple of... Um, uh, a couple of crates to boot. So let's do that now. Wrap it around. Turn it in. Turn it in. Bob's your uncle. Wrap it around. Double crates. All right, that's going to come in handy. All right, do we need to sleep? Okay, no. Screw it, we don't need to sleep. We'll just turn the defenses on. We should be okay, except if spiders are coming. Dun, 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 dun. Meep. <laughs> I like that. That's flaming awesome. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to upgrade this by putting a wooden storage blocks. On, I'm pretty sure it will automatically shoot into a wooden storage box. I'm going to double check that because I'm going to make myself look like a bloody fruit loop if that doesn't work. Flaming galah. All right, one uh, there. One piece of cobblestone will do the trick. We'll just throw that bad boy into there and just make sure it does work. Ow! Of course, bloody dangerous. Chomp, 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 chomp. 
That should have ground up, and yes, it did. It turned it into gravel. Okay, so that actually works. All right, so let's get rid of this, this, and this, and start working on our little masterpiece thing here. So first off, we want a straight bit. Oh, 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 okay, that's how it works. All right, straight bit from here. Boom. Oh, road to nowhere. Let's, let's test that. Yep, it works. And we can run on it and all sorts of stuff. Now, we needed to make it go straight up now. So I'm pretty sure you can use a hammer and you can whack it. Yeah, you can. Okay, hold shift. Okay, when you're not holding shift, it spins it around. Hold shift, click it, and it makes it flat again. Okay, just remember that. That's a good tip. So, boom, 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 see? And if you hold shift, it goes up. That's pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure items don't go... I didn't need to make the freaking elevator ones, or they don't go uphill. This is for downhill only. I don't flame and know. Whatever. All right, get rid of you. Get that back. And what we'll do is put in a straight one here. Boom. So eventually we can have like an extractor and a chest here. So it should extract out of the chest, go through, no, well, through the extractor, which will be there. And then it will start going straight up. There you go. Look, see how it connected? Look at that. Freaking awesome. Place another one. We've got two of them. Three of them. Can I get up? Oh. We'll do one more. Or do we need to do no more? I don't think we need to do one more. We just sort of go around from here. So, how do you go? How would how the flaming glow go like that? Like that. No. Wait, hang on. Like that? because that's spinning the wrong way okay i'm a little confused does this connect together or doesn't it connect together um hang on hang on hang on break it get it back they're expensive i'm not losing them flame and galah come on around and what we'll do is go straight up here with our scaffolding ow 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 forgot about the electric parts and put one on top let's try that no, that is a negative. Okay, all right. So it must be it must be just a straight bit here. Ouch! 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 I'm gonna kill myself here. I'm gonna get electrocuted to death. Flame and color. This is not going the way I want it to go. All right, get rid of all that. Well, we might have to have like a power kill mode so I can kill the power. Um, get the hammer, whack it around the right way. I'm hoping we go watch out for that nope that's not around the right way turn it right around and just continue place pl ow oh i fell in the grinder all right we'll just sort of make this go around and then straight like so and i think what we'll do is just flip that around which is automatically connected to that there we go so that's connected can i yeah i see a gap Okay, it's connecting itself. And we've got a... Oh, I'm holding shift, my bad. There we go. That's a lot better. That's connected to that. Holding shift because I don't want to fall in this bloody thing. And that needs to be flipped around. Same with that side there. And that side should connect into... Oh, there you go. It connects. And that side should connect to there. Perfect. We have one just running straight in to the actual machine itself which is bloody brilliant all right down we go down 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 we go okay look at that that looks kind of cool that does look cool okay so we're going to need i'm not going to obviously waste it what i'm going to do it actually we'll put, can we put a couple of planes yes let's put a to just just for now since we don't have a loader let's put oh let's not do that put a couple of plane ones on there uh oh give me that back all right plain ones are installed so what we need to do is i'm going to go get a stack of iron and we're going to crush it into two stacks of iron so turn our defense off yeah. and we sort of run through go ahead and watch out for that creeper obviously grab we should have an entire stack of iron i gotta stop smelting iron i gotta remember data you come over here great so we got a whole stack and I'm not sure if we 
can just load the whole thing in at once. But interesting stuff. And through. Meep. Okay. So we'll do it slowly, do it fast. Do it slowly, do it fast. Screw it, do it. Just test it with one. Up it goes. Oh, Flame and Galah, I'm going to miss this. It's going around. It's going in. Oh, come on. That looks so awesome. All right, start feeding it now. Dump, 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 dump. They're joining up. There we go. All right, let's look at this. Up, up, they come up. In, around. Just grind, 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 grind. Freaking brilliant. That looks bloody awesome, that. <laughs> I love it. I love this thing. I love it. All right, let's put, let's feed the rest of it. It's got a lot of crushing to do. Throw, throw, throw. All right, just keep throwing it at it. I'm not, I don't know if you can take the whole stack. That's why I'm throwing just bits and pieces at a time. I'm worried that if I throw a whole stack, it's only, can, yeah, it's not going to, it's not going to work, work out well. There. All right, so that's going up. See, and that's going straight on. That's going in. We're getting iron grit and iron and nickel out of it. As you can see, we're getting two at a time. So we should be all doubling, which is great. We'll put that down there. I think nickel must be the byproduct. Yeah. Okay, so nickel is the byproduct. My, my bad. Uh, I didn't didn't think a crusher would have a byproduct, but I, I suppose it does. I suppose it does. So we should get double out, like two stacks of 64. No problem out of this. And there's 64. For some reason I don't have. I have a feeling it's not quite double. Maybe it's not quite double. That doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we now have a, a way safer system of. Uh, doing it. I don't know how to... Can you just... Hang on, I'm going to test something. So if there's an extractor... Okay, the extractor probably puts it in as well. Yeah, the extractor... I was going to say, you probably can't just run a conveyor belt, you know, into a chest and it just puts it in there, eh? I'm going to try. Hammer. Oh, did it? It did! Okay! Alright! That's, that's, that's cool! So, just running it, running a conveyor belt into any sort of storage solution, it looks like that's going to be... So, our next goal is to get an extractor and make it extract automatically out of the crusher here and go into a furnace automatically. See, we've almost got two stacks of iron here. It's, it's right. It's, it's literally doubled our ore produ production, which is flaming brilliant. Look, it's almost done. This should be turning off any second now. Come on. Two and off. Yep, so that's perfect double. And we got eight nickel grid out of it. So I think that's eight nickel. So that's fine. So we can grab our two stacks. We need to automate it to go into furnaces now. That would be, that's going to, and then once it's in a furnace, as you know, it should start to smelt down to iron. Pure pure iron where's the other stack there it is there so that's going to start producing iron we got we got literally two stacks of out of out of, out of, out of one which is which is fantastic <laughs> all right i'm going to store these safely away because they are quite expensive we've got 45 of the plain ones left there we go bob's your uncle put that onto there and Oh, crikey. Our next next little thing. I really want to start playing around with uh, some of the little items. So what's coming up next? I think maybe the revolver. Oh, hang on. Revolver. Yeah. The revolver. I really want to play around with the revolver. That does mean we need access, unfortunately, to blueprints, uh, which I have no clue how all that works. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. Uh, maybe, maybe a rail gun? Uh, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but I really want to play around. Yeah, rail gun. Look at this. Ooh, a rail bloody gun. And it's got energy on it. That's flaming brilliant. So, you know, there's, there's a lot to play with when it comes to small things. But that means we're going to make a workbench, blueprints, and printing presses and stuff soon. Flaming galah. We, we've got a lot to do still. A lot to do. But yeah, playing with some of the little stuff soon. Instead of the big machines. <laughs> 
But um, anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode 6 here of Immersive Engineering. You guys know the drill. If you're enjoying the content, what you need to do is give it a like. Leave a comment below. It, it lets me know that you're really enjoying the series and you want it to continue. And you're liking the content. And make sure you grab the link. Go to your favorite social media like Twitter, like Facebook, and just plomp it in there. You never know who you can bring over. You never know. Just share it, share it, share it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch us all later.